Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Not Your Dad's Beer. Thank you for joining me. Uh, your host, Mark Bays, here at Euclid Hall. Um, I'm going to tell you something really fun today. This is a collaboration between New Belgium and Elijah. Um, Elijah Brewery has done a lot of collaborations this year. This is Kick. It came out a couple months ago. I uh, wouldn't say probably end of September, start of October is it's what it feels like. It's been that long. So uh, this is an 8.5% cranberry pumpkin sour ale. 75% of the beer is cranberry and pumpkin juice, while 25% was aged in wooden barrels. Um, I did get to try it when it was first released on draft. Let's see what it's like in the bottle. That's what I'm hoping for. See if there's been a change in a couple months. I did pick up two. That way I can age one for close to a year and really see what happens. Uh, because, you know, it was a little underwhelming the first time I had it. But we're going to hop right into this bottle and see what it's like. Stay tuned. All right, so we got the beer poured. And right away, it's a very, very soft, soft, soft orange look to it. Uh, head sits right on top of perfect, brilliant white. Bubbles are fading pretty quickly. But it looks like it's gonna be a fun beer. Just, uh, you know, it's hazy and slightly golden orange straight on through, good carbonation. Let's see what it tastes like. All right, so we got the beer poured. Head definitely fades fast. We're gonna give it a nice little swirl, get some air back in there, raise the head up. And uh, let's give it a smell, shall we? All right, so right away you're getting cranberries, a little bit of pumpkin, kind of wild yeasty flavor to it. You can definitely get the barrel aged. It smells like a subtle sour, which definitely uh, it's exactly what it reminded me of, you know, when I uh, tried it on draft. Let's give it a taste. It's a lot better than what I remember it being. Apparently just aging for it for a little bit has really brought forward like a, a tannicness to it, which I like. Um, the body itself is kind of creamy and smooth, but definitely medium bodied, solid carbonation. In terms of flavor, I'm definitely picking up that tart cranberry aspect to it. Um, pumpkin's subtle, it's behind the cranberry. I'm really getting more cranberry in terms of that the sour agent, which is tart, not sour, but there is a, an interesting tannic pull there. And my palate still feels it. It still feels like that little tug of, of the best way to describe it is tannins when it comes to sour beers. I mean, you can, it's making me salivate. I can still feel it, which I don't remember it being on draft. I gotta say, it's pretty solid. Um, when I first had it on draft, I felt it was underwhelming because I've had sour beer from New Belgium. You know, La Folie and La Terroir aside, New Belgium Love, which is phenomenal, different category of sour completely outside of kick. Um, at least when it first was released, you know, it was very underwhelming. What I know New Belgium can do when it comes to sour beer, they didn't do it. So I'm almost thinking, that this was not meant to be drank immediately, which a lot of people did. And you know, the reviews on it were so-so for a sour beer, especially for what New Belgium does with sours. But you know, holding on to this for, I think it's pushing two months now, it's pretty impressive. Especially, you know, it's 8.5% ABV. It's not a lighter style beer, but you can definitely put some age behind it. It's interesting because the nose has this you get that funky, yeasty craziness about it, which is kind of like Britannomyces, but not exactly. And then when you taste it, it's smooth and it's very refreshing. Uh, most sours also linger on the palate very long, for, or for a long time. This one really doesn't. It's making me salivate. The tannins are working that way, but the flavor isn't just sitting on my palate and resting. It feels like a soft cranberry, and it kind of just slowly fades away. So I'm thinking if you hold, if you still have a bottle of kick, hold on to it, put it, you know, six months behind it, see what happens. Um, currently, I would say two months in, it's a pretty solid beer. I'm, I'm happy with the way this one is because uh, first impression was not great. It was just, it was lacking. It was, it was lackluster. It wasn't vibrant and robust. This one is for sure. This is a fun one. 
Uh, so with that being said, New Belgium Kick, it was part of their October release for their Lips of Faith series. The first pumpkin ale they've done, nice collaboration with Elijah. They know what they're doing with pumpkins, New Belgium knows what they're doing with sour. I really dig the cranberry aspect to it because I'm still salivating. I mean, it, it definitely is different than when it was first released on draft. It, a little bit of age behind it, you know, a month or two. It's really helped it become a little bit more complex. Uh, not right to the point where I want it to be, but it's getting there. Um, I think I'm going to hold on to the other bottle for a full year and really see what happens the next year if they re-release it. You know, pick up a couple bottles and know what to do with it. And that's why I buy multiple bottles, why you should too. Really test and see how the beer changes, especially with sour beers. A lot of times they're young when they get bottled. You know, the brewery is not... They're not the same as a vineyard that they can sit there and bottle it and then sell it and then put it out five years later. It's up to you as the consumer. Um, not that you should sell her everything for that long, but if they suggest that you should, New Belgium doesn't necessarily suggest they should do that, that you should do that. But I think for beer geeks and connoisseurs out there, if you really want a tart sour ale, uh, you gotta put some age behind it. You gotta let that yeast and bacteria do its thing. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do with my other bottle. As you can see, it has like spider web lacing, nothing too crazy, but it's still fun. Uh, head just kind of rests there on the top. That's a good beer. Overall, this would be perfect for Thanksgiving, uh, holiday season, Christmas coming up, or just, you know, just hold on. Just wait, forget you have it, do it later. Thanks for joining me, Now Your Dad's Beer. See you next time. New Belgium's Kick. Gotta tell you guys, this is Not Your Dad's Beer.